Thank you for the opportunity to do the one-on-one -on -one interview. Very and pleased to be here. As we know that uh, this is not the first time you visit China with the Canadian delegation. And uh, uh, the first role, uh, the first time your role is uh, uh, PMO staff, and this time you are the uh, MP of uh, Markham Dunhill, right? So uh, what's the difference uh, between the two roles? Well, um, I am very, very pleased to be joining the Prime Minister on this uh, on this trip uh, to China, and uh, and of course, uh, you know, my role as an MP is to work hard for the people of Markham Thornhill. And as you heard earlier um, here, there are many companies, institutions, the Markham Board of Trade, all of whom are companies and people whom I represent. So I am going to join the trip so that uh, so that I could support uh, the government's work and the minister's work as they continue to build stronger relationships uh, with uh, you know between Canada and China and uh, and that uh, that that is uh, that's my role you uh, know and, uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, to representing people of Markham and Thornhill um, you know in my capacity as a member of Parliament okay so uh, the, you mentioned the the, the, the delegation members uh, are from some uh, the companies and something so how big this delegation is and how many and members will join the, 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 the whole trip? Uh, I don't know the specifics. Um, I, uh, you know, this trip this trip is uh, is uh, the prime minister's trip to China, mm -hmm. and uh, and on this trip we will be meeting with uh, with government officials and also business leaders, and uh, and on this trip. The objective is to strengthen the relationship between the two countries and to keep doing that. Um, and uh, and I will be going, of course, and uh, and you also uh, heard from MP Sean Chen, who will be going as well. The Minister of uh, the Environment will also be on this trip because of the importance of you know of uh, of climate and the environment to uh, to our uh, to our country. And uh, and the Minister of Trade, of course, uh, the Minister of Innovation will also uh, be joining Innovation and Economic Development, as well as the Minister of Small Business and Tourism. And uh, 2018 is the year of Canada-China tourism, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, and tourism is also a trade between the two countries. So I think that this is a strong delegation representing, led by the Prime Minister, to represent the interests of our country, to deepen, to deepening and strengthening those relationships that uh, that that uh, that he started as the Prime Minister uh, in 2016. Okay, so uh, all the press are very uh, interested in the, uh, uh, the, 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 the target mission of this uh, delegation is to, uh, uh, Maybe discussing the possibility of uh, the, the the free trade agreement between China and Canada. So, uh, is that possible that in this trip that uh, the Prime Minister will sign the agreement with China? I think that uh, you know I think that uh, on this trip what we what we need to do is keep doing what we have been doing, and that is working very hard in building the relationship between the two countries. And uh, and on this trip, um, you know, we have said that uh, you know we already trade with China. Canada already trades with China. China is our second largest trading partner, and uh, and we want to continue doing that work. And uh, and Minister, you know, Minister Champagne. Um, is our trade minister, and uh, and and we will continue doing that work uh, and exploring, you know, and, and continue the exploration. And uh, we've always said that uh, that in doing so, that we will ensure that uh, the rule of law and uh, and 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 other matters like the environment and labor standards are, um, you know, are important to to us as Canadians. And Canadians will expect that their government, uh, you know, um, has discussions. Whether it's with China or in any country, that we um, that we do it in a way that ensures Canadian interests are always paramount. Okay, uh, some of the Canadians are very uh, concerned about uh, China's uh, human rights uh, situation, and uh, on this trip, and uh, people, some people are concerned that uh, if we don't talk about human rights, we just signed the agreement. Uh, free trade agreement with China, it will be a problem. So, uh, what do you think? Well, um, we are very interested in continuing our dialogue and deepening our relationship and strengthening our relationship between the two countries. 
you can have frank conversations and discussions when you have a relationship that uh, that is built on engagement on both sides and that's what we intend to do so um, the Prime Minister you know is clear and uh, and our government is clear that we value and uh, we value the you know we value human rights we value the rule of law we value um, you know labor rights we value climate uh, um, a clean environment, you know, a clean environment, a clean climate. So these are the things that we value as Canadians, and uh, and we will ensure that in any of our discussions that uh, that these values uh, are uh, you know are are, are priority for uh, for us as a as a Canadian government. Okay. So as I know, the two years uh, the Prime Minister uh, Justin Trudeau has visited, uh, uh, and uh, he's gonna have the second visit to China. And uh, but the Chinese president, who, uh, Xi Jinping, hasn't come back to uh, to to visit Canada yet. So, on this trip, uh, will the Prime Minister will uh, invite Mr. Xi Jinping to visit Canada on behalf of the uh, of the Governor General? Well, um, you know, I think uh, I think uh, I think we should uh, get on the trip, and uh, and I'm very looking. I'm very much looking forward, along I know with the Prime Minister and the, you know, the others who are on the trip, to make sure that we continue to provide, you know, progress and an update on the trip as we are on the trip. So I'm looking forward to getting on that plane tomorrow, and uh, and I look forward to uh, speaking with you and others again uh, throughout the next number of days, as I know that the Prime Minister will. Thank you very much for uh, accepting our interview. And uh, uh, I want to know, this is not the first time, uh, it's the first time you visit uh, China with the Prime Minister? This will be the second time. So I was on this first official visit uh, uh, last year in September, mm -hmm. and uh, it was uh, a wonderful uh, visit. Uh, I was with the Prime Minister in Shanghai, and uh, this will be uh, the second uh, time I'm with him in China. And this time uh, I, we have a shorter trip, uh, uh, but one that will be uh, very productive, I hope, uh, in furthering the conversations that we've been having uh, to uh, further our bilateral relationship. So for your, uh, your uh, point of view, what's the difference between the first one and the second visit? The first visit, uh, there were a lot of uh, signing agreements between Chinese and Canadian companies. Uh, we saw over a billion dollars uh, in trade agreements signed. Uh, this visit, we are um, having high-level uh, high uh, meetings uh, with Premier Li and uh, President Xi. Uh, this will be a wonderful opportunity for us to strengthen uh, the relationship and to talk about how we want to engage with China in a very progressive, meaningful, uh, sustainable way. Uh, in the past approach by the previous government uh, was very ad hoc. It was uh, one-off trade deals. Uh, we want to build a, a stable, ongoing relationship uh, that is uh, built on uh, open and honest dialogue that is centered around our shared goals, uh, which is to support the people in our countries. For us, that means supporting our growing middle class, uh, increasing our economic growth, uh, making sure that businesses and uh, uh, have access to uh, the Asia market. Um, in China, we have the opportunity to reach a potential 1 billion customers. Uh, that is a tremendous opportunity for uh, Canadian uh, businesses, uh, whether they're farmers, producers, or uh, people in the tech industry, or our, our fisher uh, men. We have a wonderful um, a country with great products and services, uh, and we want to be able to reach that market in China. So, um, I have to ask the question during the press conference that uh, uh, the Premier Kathleen Wynne of Ontario already signed a, a billion dollars uh, a business agreement with China. So, how many agreements that Canada possibly uh, signed uh, with China? in this trip. Yeah. Well, the Premier uh, making sure that those agreements are signed is indeed Canada. Mm -hmm. 
we are the same country. So uh, that is a great example of the type of work that is happening on the ground. Uh, there are provinces that are uh, promoting trade, that are having a trade agreement signed between Chinese and Canadian companies. Uh, there are companies that doing are doing this on their own. Uh, there are uh, trade agreements that were signed during the last trip. Uh, all of this shows the collective uh, success of working together uh, between Canada and China. Our companies are already having that very deep um, relationship. But we see that typically it is the larger corporations that are accessing the Chinese market. Uh, we have a lot of other uh, businesses, small, medium, and size enterprises uh, that could benefit from further uh, trade uh, with China. And and this is where we want to open the doors to ensure uh, that um, Canadian businesses can continue to thrive. Uh, and that is why, for the past year, we have had exploratory talks between Canada and China on free trade. Uh, we're looking forward to continuing that conversation, at the same time continuing to hear from Canadians, to consult uh, Canadians on uh, their views and perspectives, and to make sure that uh, no matter what we do, we are always protecting our uh, economic growth, ensuring that we are creating jobs and uh, making sure that the opportunities are mutually beneficial for both Canada and China. So the two uh, governments of the two countries all want uh, to, you know, uh, uh, sign agreement, a free trade agreement with each other. But what's the barrier to, uh, you know, stop the two countries from signing the agreement right now? When you look at the China-Canada relationship, you see that there has been tremendous growth. Whether it is two-way merchandise trade or foreign direct investment, uh, year to year to year, we see that there is growth between the trade between our two countries. So the direction we're heading is, is very positive. Simultaneously, we have a country where 5% of Canadians are of Chinese descent. So we have a tremendous uh, linkage between the people in China and the people in Canada because of those strong links and our multiculturalism policy and the fact that we ha have a very strong economy. Our economy is uh, doing exceptionally well. In the second of quarter of 2017, we had 4.5% uh, uh, GDP growth. We have uh, now unemployment at its lowest for the past 10 years at 6.2 percent and uh, we are building on that success so the climate is right for us to have that conversation uh, we want Canadians to have access to the tremendous market that China presents over a billion potential consumers uh, that are in China uh, and we want to be able to leverage that for the success of Canadians and to find common ground with China. China wants the same thing. They want their middle class to be successful. So do we. So uh, we have a, a great starting point and uh, we will continue those conversations uh, and make sure that we are consulting with Canadians uh, in moving forward. Okay. So yeah, that's all my question and hope you have a good trip in China. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you.